Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about the Busy Beaver game, or some people call it the Busy Beaver function. So of course, uh, the Busy Beaver function is a uh, one of the most famous uncomputable functions, and it actually arises uh, from you know computer science. And uh, it was uh, around in the 1960s, so it was, you know, even before uh, Graham's number, of course, way, way before uh, the tree function. So basically, uh, what is the Busy Beaver game? It's basically a game uh, which um, people are trying to find a terminating program of a given state, or of a given size that produces the most output possible. And of course, it involves uh, train machines. Of course, I'm not going to explain uh, what is train machine. You can Google it yourself. But basically, this game uh, is consists of designing a halting binary train machine that writes the most number of ones on a tape using only a given set of states. Um, so basically, um, the busy beaver game is most uh, in most situations like people write it in this way. So B B N. So this is the uh, most common way to write this. So basically, you have an uh, infinite tape, which is you know infinitely long, and they are all uh, with zero. So they we start with all zeros in this infinite tape, and you're basically trying to write um, using a tree machine, you're giving a set of instructions and n number of states, so n stands for the number of states, and you're trying to write the most number of ones before it stops. So of course, one of the key thing here is you have to stop. You cannot just looping uh, back and forth and writing an infinite number of ones. That doesn't count. Um, so you have to have a Turing machine that would eventually stop. So that's the thing. Otherwise, you would just keep, keep getting like infinite number of ones. So here, uh, let's look at uh, some of the values of the busy beaver function. Of course, it is, it is a uh, proven to be uncomputable, so that means is you cannot calculate um, each individual numbers uh, by using some kind of algorithm. You cannot do that. There's no algorithm to calculate the number, um, and it grows. It has been shown to grow faster than any computable function, so including tree three or SGG functions, and so. But however, when you you know, when you have small values of n, you know, you're not getting extremely big numbers, but in the long run, it's gonna be, you know, go crazy and, and exceed and grow faster than any of the, you know, other computable functions. So BB1, one state Troy machine, one state busy beaver, the answer is one because there's only just one state. So you're gonna write one, one, and then you're just gonna stop. So you get one as the most number of one you're gonna get for one state busy beaver. Uh, so basically you, you're trying to um, give in a set of instructions. So you write down, you change the zero to one and then you gonna move either left or right and then you continue to write either one or you go back to the uh you go back one step and change the one back to zero is possible um and then eventually you just stop so if you busy beaver two for two state um busy beaver the maximum number of ones that you're gonna get is four so in this case again you cannot you know determine you cannot calculate the individual values you have to do all the basically how you get this number you have to check all the Turing machines and see for any rogue machine or check for any loops or you know some machine may just going around you know back and forth and doing nothing so you have to check all the Turing machines in order to get these numbers over here so for a three state Turing machine um, the most number of ones is six and then for busy beaver for four state the maximum number of one is 13 for bb5 it's uh has, it has been shown that the minimum 
result is 4098 but it's not proven yet and then for bb6 you start to get really big numbers so 3.514 times 10 to the 18267 and for bcp for, for seven state so of course one of the state would be the halt state but um the seven is the doesn't count the halt state and then this one bb7 would be greater than 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 to this number over here and then f basically people found out a with a very weak bound for the bc beaver so basically for bb2n is bigger than three of n minus two up arrows three so in other words if you plug in eight bb8 so that means bb two times four because two times four is eight that means bb8 is bigger than three two arrow three which is around 7.6 trillion and as you can see here um as you can see here bb6 is already much 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 bigger than 7.6 trillion so again that means this is a very very weak lower bound and what about um bc beaver versus let's say the g sequence or the grams number so it has been proven that bb64 is bigger than three arrow three arrow three arrow three this is of course the chain conway chain arrow notation you can check out my video on that and of course this number is way bigger than g64 so therefore bb64 is way bigger than graham's number but later on there are a couple people they have further proven that bb25 is already bigger than g64 and later they reduced the number to bb24 and most recently it was proven that by someone that bb18 is bigger than g64 so what about tree 3 well for now i couldn't find any proof that pr proves a you know a certain n value to be bigger than tree 3 so right now i think it's still unknown but it is uh, a fact that eventually maybe for small n it won't be bigger than three three but if n is big enough of course you know some people i think they said n is most likely smaller than a thousand well probably even smaller maybe bb 500 it will be bigger than three three but eventually let's say bb a million that is almost for sure be bigger than three a million so eventually if for big enough n for uh you know eventually it will overtake the tree function uh, and again any other computable function and only a few other uncomputable function has been shown to grow faster than the busy beaver uh, of course one example would be the rails function um, so there we have it. Um, this is a quick video on the busy beaver game. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.